here we have a revised review of the absolutely fantastic book, The Bionic Book, by Herbie J. Palento. Really comprehensive book about the Six Million Dollar Man and the Bionic Woman. I love this book. Um, I've read it so many times now, cover to cover, and you know, every time I read it, I always find something new to enjoy. Um, the chap, obviously, that wrote this book. He's also done books uh, regarding Bewitched as well um, and obviously he's quite knowledgeable regarding the uh, Barnick Man and Barnick Woman. So as well on this book which I actually love is a foreword by Richard Anderson. Um, obviously he's not with us anymore so it makes it even special regarding being in this book. At the end of the day it delves into uh, how the show was produced and also talks about Lee Majors and Lindsay Wagner. Some really, really great pictures in here as well. Really, really nice. We get a few pictures there in the book. That's a really nice one. I do like this when I read the book. Uh, I actually love this bit of artwork. It's really, really great. Um, like it says, Ink Bigfoot concludes tonight. I don't want to spoil it too much because obviously, you know, a few little enjoyments in the book and little surprises for you to come across. So I'm not going to delve too much into uh, pictures from the book because when you go through the book yourself, you'll actually enjoy those and come across them. Um, there's quite a bit of information regarding um, the bionic toys as well, and a bit of information, some information I did not know. A little picture there of Steve. Oh, very good and um it does actually delve into the toys as i say and a few little bits of information which i oh, there we go nice picture of the three of them there um you know talks about the bionic toys and obviously um some information i didn't really know regarding about maskatron i'm thinking about maskatron too and obviously continuing the line but obviously that never happened uh, which was a bit of a shame really i've always thought with the bionic woman anyway should have run another series can't beat the Fembots in Las Vegas. Obviously, there's bits of information there, as I say, regarding Ferret Force and the Mages as well. Really, really nice bits of information, which I didn't know. So, you know, it was quite nice to uh, get that bit of information. When you come from, you know, from America to England, sometimes you don't get all this information because it was basically a massive American show, but it was massive in the UK as well. Absolutely huge. I won't spoil it too much, but some nice little snippets there, look, regarding the uh, Bionic toys, a few little nice little pictures there, picture of Steve there with uh, the executives from Parker Brothers, really, really nice. So yeah, so as I say, it's a lovely, lovely book, um, and I, you know, I can't get enough of it. Herbie J. Balento is included in the uh, Blu-ray uh, box set of The Six Million Man from Shout Factory. Is conducting commentaries for uh, some of the episodes so that that's quite interesting to listen to because obviously um he's very knowledgeable as i say regarding six million dollar man barnick woman also it's going to be included as well uh with the barnick woman as well uh blu-ray box set so as i say he's very knowledgeable and be quite inter interesting to see what he's got to say but there we go it's a quick quick overview of this absolutely fantastic book again because I, I love this book and obviously as i say it's a re-review from the a review i did a, probably about a couple of years ago actually and um you know if you want to have a, a nice little read about what's going on in the bionic world in the 1970s and a bit beyond that as well because obviously it talks about the films as well the um the tv movies so um you know if you want a you know a bit of information regarding that as well you can't really go wrong with this absolutely fantastic book to my channel if you're on my channel now i should imagine if you're watching this uh check out the previous review i did a couple of years ago mm -hmm. 